Hello there, Green Knight here. Welcome to this Vessel Armada tutorial. Installing Vessel Armada is um, really simple and also 100% uh, free. Uh, first of all, Vessel, the software, it is a Java based uh, software. So you have to have Java installed on, on your computer. Most people do. You can just type Java here and uh, and you will see that you have Java. If not, you have to Google it and install Java first. Uh, then you download the most recent client, which is uh, as of this tutorial 3.4.11. Download it. Uh, somewhere and run the installer. And then you will get uh, a question here. And you can either install it standard location, which will be program files. Some people get run into problem with um, requiring some admin rights and so forth. So you can go custom. Uh, this is just, uh, can I just skip this one? And then you can browse and sort of install it anywhere. It's a Java application. So you could have uh, install it under documents, for example. Sometimes you will, uh, yeah, th this is standard. I'm not going to install it because I already have it installed. If you get a warning from Windows or something that this is a very harmful software, just uh, skip that warning. It's not uh, harmful. So let's assume that you have gotten, you have Java and you have gotten Vassal installed. And just click the icon and this here will be empty and then you go to file and you go to open module but oh you say i don't have any module no that is uh that is true so you have to find the armada module for vessel and right now it's on the front page here uh, but you can also go here on modules and just type Star Wars Armada, or maybe type it correctly, Armada, Armada, there, very hard. And this is the actual module page, and you want the most recent one on the top here. You don't need this map pack, so you just click the module, and you download it wherever, to downloads, for example. And then you go to open module, not new module, because that's for creating a new game. And then you go to open module and you move to that uh, location where you have it. Um, and I'm just going to install another version. And then the first time you start the game, you will get this tiling images. It's sort of preparing the graphics uh, and it will skip this stage when you log on later. So you don't have to sit through this. It takes just two seconds to start the applications after. So it's just the first time and it has to tile the images. Whatever that actually means. Not important. And uh, very exciting. Uh, can take a second and it's done and then you get the startup wizard and you have three modes you can start a new game offline if you want to play with yourself this is what you want 95 percent of the time and this allows you to load a saved game you can save games and finish it later or if you save them save the game state and you want to look at it and see what you could have done differently or something like that but for now it's look for game online finish and then you see for the first time the interface window just going to expand it and on the left here we have the chat log hello if i write hello any player that is in this main room currently just me will see that text message and there's a bunch of buttons on top here 
and we will uh, look at uh, those uh, in the next tutorial. So goodbye for now.